Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm doing a video on No Man's Sky and some rumours that are being banded about. About some game files that contain laser swords, monkeys and chickens. Ah, so what an interesting episode this is going to be. So let's jump on over onto the Tinterweb, shall we? And we shall take a look-see at what I'm on about. So those videos in question have been put out there by Pres Professor Cynical. Now, if you haven't seen these videos, please go and take a watch because of some pretty interesting stuff. If you don't know too much about the game files, data mining or anything like that, and you're quite new to No Man's Sky, you've just picked it up on PC and you've come across these files yourself, you're probably wondering, are these new or are they old? That's the first question. The first question to answer it shortly and abruptly is they're old. They're very old. They've been out, they've been inside the game files since the dawn of time. But I suppose with the restructuring and these folders moving around, they're now alphabetically listed. Maybe it's thrown it up to the surface and people are like, is this new? Is it not new? They're old. Okay. That's the basic bones of it. That's the basic crux of it. These are old things. They're not really new things. I don't think it's a hint at anything that's coming into game. I mean, I did get excited when I saw the actual texture of the laser sword. Um, but then thinking back and casting my mind back and also talking to some of the modding community is they have said when you actually bring in the mesh of the player model from those early game files, that actually places that laser sword by the right hand or the left hand, one of the hands anyway, that it almost indicated that they might have been tinkering with the idea of laser swords very early on, before the game even got placed into the verse, perhaps. So that's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame because I thought laser swords might be on the cards because inside of the Traveller's Law they do mention laser swords. Anyway, I want to say Professor Cynical, even if Professor Cynical isn't on the money with these leaks, you know, who knows? Sometimes Hello Games revisits old ideas and they bring them back into the verse. Uh, so we've seen it happen time and time again. Who knows, people? But they're not new. They're not new, and they're not new at all. In fact, the monkey model, the little guy with the fez, if you had to take a look into data mining, you, uh, let's just click this one from PC Gamer. Let's just hold down control, click link, so it opens in another tab. I bet you it dates back to 2016, somewhere around then. Um, yeah, visit. I was hoping it would visit it anyway. Yeah, 2016, August 2016. That was just the first one at random, 2016. They've been there since the game's freaking inception. And this is that player model that I was on about here as well. This is the player model and the laser sword, once you've put it into like Blender or something, it actually calls to that texture as being part of this model for the laser sword. So sadly, laser swords are not on the cards. Not that I, I don't think. They could resurrect these files. You know, you would have thought with Hello Games going through and adding header records to all the files, they would have, there's no need to have this in the game files anymore, unless they want to give us it as a trophy one day for our bases to stick on a shelf or something. It's pointless. And, or unless they've just left it in there for their own sort of, you know, in-house, in-studio type jokes. Now, Professor Cynical also mentioned a chicken. A chicken! And it was very brightly coloured. And when I was looking at those bright colours, I was thinking, well, we haven't got anything like that in game. And also, you can't import the chicken model into actual Blender. So why bother leaving the textures in? Well, when you look at their previous game, Joe Danger, it has a chicken costume and it's exactly the same colours as those inside of Professor Cynical's sort of video where he's talking about the chicken. So it looks like they may be remnants of the old day Joe Danger files. Now I was talking to modders inside of the modding community. You know that I've got the people that I go to and I trust. It's just a very small sort of handful of people inside of the modding community that I'd go to for my own information. You know, I've built a relationship with them. And this seems to be the most likely, the most likely sort of rhyme or reason for maybe Hello Games leaving them in. It would be quite cool to get a chicken suit type costume to go exploring the universe in. I would like to see more crossovers happening inside of No Man's Sky. I would love to visit a planet that looks like it's got all the little sack guys from the last campfire adorning the planet, people. But it's probably not to be. 
So, I did mention I've got No Man's Sky news. This is more of something that's a bit of a debate that's going on inside of the actual community at the moment, inside of No Man's Sky. I do have a little bit of news other than that, though, people. The ice statues. I fought the ice Diplo statue, and also the last of the ice sculpture statues, would have been a lot by the start of this weekend. By Friday is what I thought. I thought we'd be on to the decals come this Monday. Heck no. They've been slowed down yet again, even over a weekend where people are running the weekend mission. That or people have just sort of gravitated away from No Man's Sky at the moment, which I have felt my own pull to other games. Like, been playing a bit of Helldivers, a bit of Dragon's Dogma. So yeah, I've felt that myself. But they've slowed right down to the point that the actual Ice Diplo statue that I thought probably would have unlocked come Wednesday of last week, because it was it was going super fast, wasn't it? And we got from 0% to like 30% in the space of like a day. So I figured it would take three days and a bit to unlock. No, no, it's slowed right down. And we're now on 90% of that Diplo, even though we've had a weekend people so it looks like it's been slowed down it, and if that's a measure to go by we might not get the third statue unlocked until probably this weekend you know this friday or maybe even the monday after it's insane so who knows and we'll have to see what speed the decals run at but i did signpost this in and perhaps as getting an update around the 12th of may i don't think we're going to have the ice statues done by the 12th of may now <laughs> let know the decals the decals could push us over to june at this rate people it depends what hello games does now this could be a good sign though it could mean that hello games is working on a bigger expedition or a bigger update than what we could have envisaged ah every cloud has a silver lining and even when it comes to say professor cynical putting out the information about in the game files and data mining even that has a silver lining if Professor Cynical didn't do his video on this sort of stuff, I wouldn't be talking to you right now about this sort of stuff. So even though it's given us something to look at, it's given us food for thought, it's, it's shown us that there's still potential, maybe looking back at older files, could something new emerge? It's healthy debate, people inside the viewer us. I just wouldn't get your hopes up that we're going to get laser swords, monkeys and chickens anytime soon. Reminds me of that song, Baby Monkey, Baby Monkey. Riding on a pig, baby monkey. Oh, yeah. Look, look at the joy that came out of this, people. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully it's given you food for thought out there, given you reason to sign off in the comments. Let us know what you think. Do you think that there is any sort of levity and gravity to the items that are inside of the game files from that time ago? Do you think they've got relevance now? I mean, Something I haven't mentioned, Professor Cynical came in across a load of water shaders inside of there. Now, during the IGN firsts, when they were first playtesting No Man's Sky, right back at the start, when you look at the actual water, it looked like it was reflecting shorelines of the actual islands that they were in. And not only that, some of the actual water areas near to the coastline had floating lily pads and other oddities inside of the water with also like tendrils hanging down from the lily pads inside of the water. You have to slow the footage down and have eyes of a hawk, 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 hawk to spot them. But they are there. And the water shaders back then looked like they were slightly more multifaceted. Perhaps just to showcase No Man's Sky and how beautiful the water could be. You know, like the Light No Fire tech demo that has all the reflections inside of the water where, you, you, you know, you see the like the Viking longboat. Look at the water there. It's nice and reflective. Exactly like what we saw in the tech demos of No Man's Sky of yesteryear. Part of me thinks that they added in some more complex water shaders for the actual demoing to showcase how beautiful No Man's Sky was, but then they took out that multi-layering in release and kept the water very bland and flat because it's something that perhaps you won't notice because you're just enjoying playing the game. Is my sort of thoughts and feelings. They could resurrect those. They could bring those back in, but for them to do that, I'd imagine they're going to have to seriously optimise other things inside of No Man's Sky or dial down some of the actual foliage rendering on planets that have water. It's going to have to be a sacrifice of something to give it, is what I'm saying, people. So, 
I would love to see an overhaul of water, though. I really would. I would love to see waterfalls become a thing and actual real rivers and stuff. And also deeper oceans that might contain threats like bigger water fauna. But now we're going around in circles of my hopes and dreams that I've had since day one of release. Until next time, people. You've been awesome. I've been the Captain of the Steve. Sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. Let's get some debate going. Heck yes. And yeah, please go and watch Professor Cynical's videos because they are quite interesting. And especially to see that, you know, you put the effort in of bringing in all the textures. If you don't delve into the game files, if you haven't got it on PC, and you haven't got a clue what I'm on about, you're going to have to watch them to get some context anyway. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Thank you, Gag Sing Long Bullshit Tube members. Fears and count longer than I remember. Extra Lobos, you watch all my content. Extra Lobos watches my vlogs, vlogs my talks. Extra Lobos watches my game. It always hits a like and a comment too. Thank you, Extra Lobos. We need more of you. And thank you, everyone else that turns in every day. If you like Extra Lobos, hip hip hooray.